don't get out much. But with the smoke in the area outside and it was thunderstorming today, good place to exercise is in the mall. Except that I stop in too many shops. Um, I'm not familiar with the Kate Spade brand. I went in there. So this is kind of a full size purse, but it was smaller than that. It was a small purse. And uh, I don't even know. It was like $300. It's just uh, somewhat ridiculous for a really small purse about the size of this one. Um, but, so that's Kate Spade. I'm on the third floor, and I haven't been to this section. I was in uh, Bloomingdale's. That was quite nice. I enjoyed myself in there a little bit too much. I'm definitely going back there. But Prada's down here. I've actually never been in a Prada store. I probably won't go in this one. Here's your Uggs. Um, I'm not into them anymore. <laughs> I used to be. They're just ridiculously oversized and stupid. Not familiar with that. So some of these things everybody's heard of before. Now here's a whole store of cashmere. And I gotta say, when I was down there in Bloomingdale's, which is at the end down there, um, there was a whole section of cashmere and like brings back 60s and 50s vibes to me but oh it's nice oh it's nice it was never all that affordable but oh it's nice it is Chicago you know it does get cold my dad's favorite gloss was something I bought him for Christmas in Chicago at Bloomingdale's actually up up in the mince section it was cashmere line leather he wore them like a champ. I think I might have missed the place. Did I miss the Prada? No, here it comes. Here comes Prada. I mean, I'm afraid, afraid crazy stuff is going to happen here. So you already kind of get the vibe here. Well, here we go. Talking about mature your women and men like Prada. Oh, there's a line to go in. That's cool. What kind of crazy shit is that? And there's a there's the guard. Nobody's getting in until we let them in. Okay, so that's that story. I knew it was going to be something kind of cray cray, and it was. Not disappointed. So that's Gucci over there. I'm not gonna go in there. But this section is uh, not disappointing me. The other, I mean, I've been through the first floor many times. Right there's the first floor. And that's where the peons down there. <laughs> we're up here where, <laughs> where we're interested. I like this art. Um, pretty cool with the lighting that they got it in and the back lighting. Anybody could do it. Some of the mall patrons are louder than others. Um, I wanted to sh show you the big animals that the kids were riding. The, the place had been uh, closed down and it just had opened and the kids went nuts and they were all going around in circles <laughs> where I was sitting at the time. But obviously it wouldn't look too good to their parents probably for me to be filming them. But the, I wanted to film the animals while they were all in line. And then I realized that they were opening and the kids were rushing it. Sitting so Gucci clothes or can't wait to have. I 
I do look at prices, I want to familiarize myself. So I looked at the prices in Kate Spade and I had to immediately find the restaurant because I thought I was going to poop That's myself. Nice, uh, um, it's just not my style, but gives you an idea of what's available here. It's called Fashion Outlets of Chicago. It's in Chicago. It's right across from O'Hare, right across the big interstate from O'Hare. So, there's a Starbucks down there. Maybe we'll do that sometime. Oh my God, and there's Versace. <clears throat> there were Versace sunglasses and a few Versace items from Bloomingdale's, but if you got money to burn, this is the place to come burn it. And don't believe the 70% off stuff. It's gonna, it's gonna go bing, 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 bing. Now, I'm here mainly to walk and let's see what goes on. There's Jimmy Choo down there. That's kind of cool. That stuff looks almost normal and I like the little rafts. I'm very familiar with Coach and Coach Outlets. But I gotta say, this is a nice big store. Got a lot of different products in here. Don't usually see this amount of jackets. Of course, we're in Chicago. I've been to the Coach Outlet in Vegas and God knows where else. So they're not having uh, top coats, green jackets. A lot of eye candy. This is almost better than that eye candy that somebody else is always looking at the fireman. So there's Versace. Um, I don't even see their signature perfumes in there. But it's about the accessories, evidently. And they have a rope line. So anytime you see a rope line, you're not getting in the store. Just Willy nilly. Interesting. Now, the cool thing about this mall is um, the parking structure for the mall is uh, multi level, multi multi levels. Uh, and this is not the entrance where I park, but um, I mean, check this out. So you can try to park close to the store that you're going to. And uh, there's vending. Okay, the door opened up and looks dark as heck in here, but uh, it's daytime. So this is the third floor garage, and this is not the section we parked in, so you gotta be real careful to watch where you park. And there I was on monitor. Probably shouldn't wave at security and piss them off. I think I'll go. <laughs> they find me. <laughs> so there's a Starbucks and I didn't get much of this wing done at all today. 